guys, hear this. Oh! Slapping on my shoes real quick. Let me get in the car so you guys can hear me better. So first off guys, happy Friday. I'm about to go to prayer. Thank God for my blessings. And after that, I'll let you guys know as soon as we get home. So I am on my way to get something to eat. Now I know we haven't even gotten to the main point of the video, but your boy's hungry. Your boy's got to pray. You know, these are necessities in life. You don't prioritize, you know, work over things you need to survive. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know guys. Probably, I'm thinking about some Chipotle. I haven't had it in a few days. I think that's some good healthy stuff. Let's just hit it. All right guys, just parked. Just got my papers out of Rayleigh's. Heading over to Chipotle. I'm gonna get this food to go. I'm trying to eat it while watching, you know, something on Netflix. today um, on my brother's car we're actually gonna be trying to pick up my friends 335 from the shop so that's pretty exciting basically he bought it as garbage gave it to them and we're gonna pick it up finish completely full new body kit full new paint job all repairs done it's gonna be an exciting adventure and at the same time we're taking the m3 to get 100 percent wrapped up with the paint make sure everything is perfect so we're gonna drop this car off and pick up the other car that's what we're doing Guys, traffic is just stupid bad. I'm taking the next exit because I'm definitely not staying on this highway. Especially not in this gas guzzling car. Oh my lord. got here all right guys this is the first car they ever painted for us and this is the second one. Oh my god i really didn't think i was gonna like it really didn't think i was gonna like it still don't know how I exactly feel about it but it looks so good see i don't know how i feel about that to be 100 honest with you but look at this quarter panel looks super good m3 rear bumper not gonna lie looking pretty good you can just smell it smells so fresh this side screw isn't going on 100 percent but I guess we can figure that out. But yeah, this was the quarter panel that was completely destroyed. And let's see the door as well. Oh my God, he did his door jams as well. Dang, he did the door jams and everything. This looks really good, dang. Huh, it's starting to make me rethink whether I should do my door jams now. Wow, that looks so good, guys. My God. And he did the trim and gloss black, which looks super clean. Looks a little bit weird here but that's what happens when you paint uh chrome stuff for the price you can't expect perfect but you guys can see the door jams everything looks super good you can tell they spent a lot of good time on this and i don't know if you guys know but to do a door jam you need to remove the door so putting it back on and getting the fitment 100 percent on is super hard i don't know if you guys have ever removed the door before he did a great job i can just tell like this is flush. You're not gonna hear any air, or anything like that going through the windows. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys know either. This is a manual 335i. I think you picked up for 2K. Let me show you guys what it has. Okay, engine bay is still all white. It's not that big of a deal, but um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has intake scoops. I'm pretty sure this thing has a charge pipe, blow off valve, intercooler, um, I think JB4. It has all the bolt-ons, all the tunes. This thing is pretty sick. It has a cowl filter. It's pretty much like my 335. I think I actually has a stock intercooler. Oh, but you also put on the lip, which looks really good. Oh my God, that color. That is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I still like my M3 more, but I like the stance of this. I do need to, if I end up keeping the M3, I do need a lower level. You guys, you guys can just tell this thing is low. But anyways, guys, I'm the one that got here first before Devon, so I got to see before him. Let's see what his reaction is as soon as he pulls up. I, I really wonder what he's gonna think. As soon as I pulled up, it looked like a monster. This color is not me. I probably would never drive a car like this. It's kind of like a, a burgundy, burgundy red. It's uh, like a bulldog red. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not exactly my cup of tea, but it looks good. I can respect something that looks good and that looks great. So I'm super hyped for him to come. 
basically he bought the car, he bought the side skirts, he bought the front bumper, he bought the lift, he bought the spoiler, he bought, he pretty much bought a whole bunch of stuff. He brought in this car that could barely drive with quarter panel damage here and just pay them a whole bunch of money and they made this happen. So this is what, this is what people with money can do. <laughs> you know, your boy has to do all the work. And then we just bring it over here and they take care of it. But I mean, it, it must feel good. Like literally, you're just coming to pick up your car. It's 100% good to go. And it looks it looks like a million bucks. Oh, well, this door jam he did not do. And this door jam he did not do. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I think he's going to bring it back to get that door jam done later. I think the reason why he did that those door jams, because that door was damaged. We actually ended up replacing that door. So while he had the door off, he did all the jams. Oh, my Lord. He pulled up. He pulled up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking, bro? Roll down the window. <laughs> what are you thinking? It looks good, eh? That looks fire. It looks so good. I love this stance with the lip. Damn. Oh, oh they put the lip on too. Yeah, they put everything. I wonder how he's gonna react to the door. I feel like he's not gonna take the door and the the what's it called and the quarter panel too good. But let's see how what he, what he thinks about it. Open up that door too. Why? I wish my door seals were good. Damn. <laughs> It looks so good, dude. There's one problem. What? I don't know how you're gonna take it. He told you? No, 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 I just saw it. Open that door and let me know. Yeah, how do you feel about it? I I didn't tell him the people. Yeah, no, I figured you didn't. But that door, he had, they had to remove the door, so I guess they just painted it anyways, right? <laughs> it's just that side's done and this side's not, you know? It's, like, I think you might want to get that done down the road, but as of now, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, it's just not. Ew. But yeah, guys, so this apparently this car's on coilovers. Did not know that either. Dude, how much did you get this car again for? 2500 Dude, that's so cheap. Yeah. Dude, and it's a manual with the nav. Like you, all you gotta do now is get some red seats or some brown seats and you're good to go. You don't like brown, do you? No. White or red? And sport, you don't have sport seats. Meantime, he's putting on the gas cap. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and move that tail light now. Um, by the way, that's Project X5. You can see he's, that's his current daily. <laughs> it's been it's been helping us out. I mean, he's been using it as a parts runner to get parts for that car back and forth. So um, yeah, now he also has it ready to go to where, I don't know if you guys can see, he's ready to go to pick up all his old parts so you can actually paint them and then sell them. So now we're making our money's worth out of this $250 X5. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of crazy, 250 eh? I still can't believe it, but anyways, let's go ahead and get this tail light off and then uh, remove those side marker thingies and see if we can get those painted for us. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call. I think he's working inside. I'm gonna go ahead and call him, tell him what, uh, if he can you know, fix this thing right now. Fix my two side markers and see what's up. See how much you owe him. <laughs> Imagine it comes out and be like, yeah, seven thousand dollars. Be like, oh man, well you can keep the car. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we'll figure that out. We'll let you guys know what's going on here. Does it have cat? Dude, you can smell it already. Dang, guys, catless and everything. This thing is gonna sound so good. All right, the mom's just taking a few pictures because we're gonna have to get a towed home. We can't actually drive her. <laughs> kind of sucks mainly because um, this wheel is kind of messed up. We don't know how long it's gonna, how far it's gonna take us. And then when they cut off the exhaust, it might burn off the, the bumper paint. So we need to get the exhaust rerouted so that doesn't happen. So just playing it safe. Sorry right, guys, Devon's talking to the tow people. I'm probably just gonna end up heading home. I got a lot of homework to do. So I took the X5, I'm driving it back home. All it needs is some gas, but this thing is smooth as butter. Honestly, I think the I think we're gonna actually end up doing the oil filter housing on this thing. At first, I really didn't think it was worth doing it on this car, and it's a pretty hands-on job. Um, I did watch a few videos, and they seem to remove the alternator and the pulleys and all this stuff, uh, the belt, just so you can get to the oil filter housing gasket on this car. Um, so I decided I was like, it's just not worth it. Just sell it with the leak and just tell me it needs to get done. I called a couple shops. They said it was like 350 to get done. So that's the quote I've been giving people um, if we ever plan on selling the car. <laughs> but Devon looks like he really wants to keep it. And uh, you know, it is a pretty solid car. So we're planning on just maybe just trying to get it fixed. Probably gotta get it fixed ourselves. So uh, there will be a video on that pretty soon. Meantime, I'm in a rush. I, I have, I gotta talk to somebody. <laughs> in about a couple hours and uh, I gotta get my homework assignments done before then. So I'm over here trying not to drive too fast so I don't get pulled over, but just enough so I can get home um, in a promptly manner. But anyways, I guess I'm just gonna conclude the video right now. If you guys are excited to see how the 335 comes out, make sure to smash the like button. We are, we are pretty much gonna be pulling it back to the house, fixing the wheel, uh, fixing a couple things, putting it up together, you know, like grills, all that stuff, fix all the things that he overpainted on, um, and just try to perfect it. And once it's done, that's a car he's definitely planning on keeping. So we'll do some crazy stuff to it on the channel for you guys. I'm pretty stoked for it. It came out 
amazing. Just can't wait to bring it home. Unfortunately, we do have to tow it home because the wheel is messed up. Anyways, I love y'all so much. But yeah, if you guys are excited to see the 335, if you guys are excited to see how Project Daily is gonna end up, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.